These type of numericals came in every NT test of DAO, SMC, KMDC, NED, NUMS, UHS and others. In these type of numericals, you have to find the volume of any one of the reactant or product and the mass of one of the reactant or product is given. So the numerical is calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas produced at STP. Means the volume of carbon dioxide gas you have to find out which is produced at STP that is standard temperature and pressure by the combustion of 20 gram of methane. Means methane is combusting and you know that when any substance is combusting which means it is, it is reacting with oxygen and the products are always carbon dioxide and water. So in this case methane is combusting and the products are carbon dioxide and water and the mass of methane that is 20 gram is given and you have to find out the volume of carbon dioxide. So we have used the trick of mass to mass relationships that when one of the mass of the reactant is given and you have to find out one of the mass of the reactant or product then uh, do not uh, use so much lengthy calculations just compute in a one step. But when you are going from mass to volume, there are two steps, but very easy steps, not the tricky steps, very, very, very easy steps, you have to just follow it. So first you have to convert it into mass, then go into volume. So the first step is, you have to find out the 20 gram of methane will produce how much volume of carbon dioxide gas. So as you know that, 16 gram of methane is equal to 44 gram of carbon dioxide. You know that 16 gram of methane is equal to 45, 44 gram of carbon dioxide. So 20 gram of methane will produce let's suppose x gram of carbon dioxide. So after cross multiplying 20 into 44, 16 into x, it would become 16x equal to 880. When this 16 which is multiplying by x will be divided by 880, it becomes 16, 1 the 16, 16, 55 the 880. So X is equal to 55 gram. So X is the mass of carbon dioxide which will be produced by combusting 20 gram of methane. So when you have calculated the mass of carbon dioxide, then one step is completed. Then move towards step number 2, which says that you have to find the volume of carbon dioxide at STP. So you know that at STP, the volume of carbon dioxide that is 44 gram is equal to 22.4 decimeter cube. That you know that one mole of any gas is equal to 22.4 decimeter cube. Which means one mole means 44 gram of carbon dioxide would equal to 22.4 decimeter cube of volume at STP. You have to find out how much uh, volume will be occupied by the 55 gram so it would become 55 gram of carbon dioxide will have a volume of x so when you multiply that is cross multiply 44 into x 55 into 22.4 it would becomes 44 x and is equal to 55 into 22.4 so when you have to find out the x which is the volume of carbon dioxide which would be produced by by this mass of carbon dioxide that is 55 gram so dividing 44 with these values you have to find out the x then you are observing that uh, 11 to the 22 11 for the 44 and after cancelling the complete values you will get x is equal to 28 decimeter cube so x is the volume of carbon dioxide that is 28 decimeter cube which will be produced by combusting the 20 gram of methane so in this type of numericals, in mass to volume rela relationships, do not confuse, do not use lengthy tricks to find out the number of moles and then move towards the volume. Just follow these two steps, then first convert the, the first find out the mass, then from this mass find out the volume. You have to follow these two steps. So stay watching educationisthub.com.